So I think I've been shooting macro photography for like two years now, and I've been able to capture some like amazing photos for that amount of practice. But when I first started, I did not have the greatest setup. I was just getting into photography. So I had like a Nikon D2200, something like that. It was like 500 bucks. I got it in like an Amazon bundle. And it came with this, an XIT uh, wide angle macro thingy mabob. I had no idea what it was, but I saw that it said macro on it. And so I took that piece off and I think I only had like a 50 millimeter lens at the time. So I put this and it's pretty much just a magnifying glass. I put that on it. I was kind of getting macro shots. They were pretty blurry around the edges. There wasn't much depth of field. The quality was absolutely terrible, but you know, I worked with what I had. And so I started going out on walks a lot more. I started taking pictures around my house a lot more and I was just capturing anything that looked interesting to me. And I just took pictures every single day after I get home from, from school, uh, from work, and I just take pictures and more pictures and I would practice different editing styles. And I started posting on Instagram and there are so many great macro photographers on Instagram. In order for me to stand out, I started doing all these crazy edits and I had all these crazy colors to help myself stand out from all the other uh, macro photographers. But my quality wasn't there because of the cheap setup that I had. But at the time, this thing did its job. Now fast forward a year into my macro photography journey, I decided to spend the money to upgrade my camera and wow, that took a chunk out of my bank account. But I was doing portraits, I was doing family shots, I was doing anything I could to make that money back. So in the end, it all kind of balanced out. And the camera that I ended up getting was the Sony a7 III. I can't really show you it right now because that's what I'm using the film. Since that's what I spent most of my money on, I didn't have any extra money for a macro lens. So I was still using this magnifying glass. I was still only able to get as close as I could before because I still had a 50 mil attached to this. But since the Sony a7 III is a high megapixel camera, I was able to crop in and see more detail than I could with my cheap Nikon, whatever it was. I was still experimenting with the colors and my editing, trying to find some sort of style in macro photography. So I continued with uh, wacky colors and different perspectives and stuff like that. After a few months of taking pictures like that, I finally saved up some money and did some research, I found that the Liowa F2.8 2X macro lens was a really good choice to get into macro photography. And here it is. Now this lens is totally manual and I kind of like it that way because I don't have to rely on the camera to try and focus. I simply just move back and forth with my body or my arms to try and find that focus. And now this lens can go a magnification of 2X. So you can see right there, I usually shoot as close as I can, but if you want to, you can zoom out. And when you zoom in and out, you can see that it's just staying inside of the lens. And which is really cool because then no dust or dirt will get into the mechanism. Along with the magnification being manual, the f-stop is also manual, which I don't mind. It's very quick to just move the dial I usually shoot at f11 because I find that's the best setting for my camera and for this lens. I get the most in focus and I still get really sharp photos. At the time that I bought this lens, I think it was around $500. In total, I think my setup so far is around $4,000 because the Sony a7 III was $3,500. Since I was getting a greater magnification with the macro lens and I was using f11 and I was using a shutter speed between uh, 1 25th and 1 200th, I needed to get a flash because the pictures were just way too dark. I had already bought a flash for like portrait shots and stuff like that. So I decided to just use that. And here it is. It's a Godox AD 200. It's very big and it's very bulky. I cannot put it on my camera. So what I end up doing is I just have it off camera and I usually shoot it at like a 45 and then I hold my camera with my other hand. It's not ideal because everything is so heavy, so I start shaking a little bit, but I find my photos come out very different than a lot of macro photographers. The lighting is very dramatic, which I like. Um, everything's not lit up. It's coming in from one angle, or I can just move it around wherever I feel like. 
It doesn't have to be stuck on my camera. Since this flash is very powerful, I ended up getting a little diffuser from Amazon. It's just a little square thing that you can put on the end and it does the job because without it, some of the shots are very harsh. Now, if I'm gonna include that into my macro photography budget, that's probably another $300. So I think, what are we at? $4,300 now. But like I said, I was able to pay most of this off doing other work. Now the last piece of equipment that I've added to my macro photography setup is an upgrade of this little magnifying glass here. I ended up getting a Raynox DCR 250, I believe. Yes. And this thing's really cool. It's just like this little lens here, but it has these clips. So you're able to just stick it on any lens that you have and it just adds a little more magnification. I don't find it too crazy of a magnification, um, but it adds just a little bit more when you wanna get in just a little closer. And I believe the Raynox was around $80, so that brings our total up to 4380. Well, let's just round it up to 4400. So yes, obviously this is a very expensive setup, but I enjoy it, I really love it. I love the combination of the Sony with the Liowa, I'm getting amazing shots they're really sharp uh, i can crop in like so close it's amazing what the sony camera can do and i've just been able to stand out a lot more on instagram on social media and it's just really impressing me too i love macro photography so i am willing to put the money into this and it's just been a really fun hobby so far i love going out into nature going on for walks in my backyard and just taking pictures of anything and everything i can if you have any questions about anything at all my equipment my camera anything please leave it down in the comments and i will try and answer it for you and if you enjoy macro photography like i do or you just like this type of content please consider subscribing liking this video and following along you can also check out my Instagram and my TikTok as well. My name's Jake. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.